hey everyone uh, welcome back on the channel welcome back to another pc fix video today i will show you how you guys can remove the explorer.exe virus 32 bit uh, from your computer and also along with that i will show you how you can fix the files which have been infected with the uh, explorer.exe virus uh, the things we are going to use is going to be this zip along with that the malware bytes now it can be pro version or the normal version anything will do if you can manage the pro version that's better but yeah free version will also do uh, so yeah i will show you everything step by step so this is going to be interesting video let's start this video without any delay now all right first i will show you what an explorer.exe virus looks like and have you been infected with it or not so when you open the task manager you will see here uh, now i have cleaned my pc so there is uh, no sign but i will put something on your screen uh, you will see explorer.exe 32 bit something like that and it will ask uh, it will eat some of your cpu and some of your uh, ram uh, now there can be multiple instance instances like uh, two two three files running in the task manager uh, one more thing uh, which files have been inspected with it you can just go to the files uh, directory now most of the time the .exe files are getting infected so this is the idea 2.exe like the red dead redemption 2 so what you can do right click on that and click on properties and go to the details tab and you will see here it says tj promen which means trojan and it is a trojan virus so this has been infected with the trojan so yeah let's start the tutorial Uh, so first thing first I will uh, extract this zip on the desktop now in here uh, I will see these three files so we will select these three with winrar and right click and click on extract each archive to separate folder now when this is done uh, you can run this uh, remover or archil anything will do uh, I am using the archil one this is better for me you can run this as administrator and what it will do it will stop that temporary injection of that explorer.exe virus on your uh, cpu now you can open the task manager and you will see that the explorer.exe has been uh, stopped temporarily now what you need to do you need to disable the internet connection and run the malware byte and run a system scan which will uh, happen for maybe two to three minutes five minutes depending on your pc and uh, hard disk and ssd and after that uh, you will find some infected files for suppose 5 to 10 or 12 now you can move them to quarantine or you can just delete them that's totally up to you so as you can see there is nothing on my pc uh, now this is the part uh, like where you can uh, remove the virus from your pc now what about the files which already has been infected with this virus and you want to keep that file for suppose this rdr2exe this has the trojan inbuilt but yeah i want to keep the rdr2.exe only and want to delete the trojan from it so what you need to do you need to create a folder on the desktop you can rename it to anything new folder so copy the dot exe rdr2.exe and paste it in the new folder after that open this folder the explorer.exe remover zip which we extracted from here grab the byte stinker 3 and copy it and also paste it in the same folder now what you need to do you need to rename these two at very simple text uh, simple files so for suppose i am renaming the byte stinker to b.exe and i am renaming the rdr2 to r.exe after that you need to click on this address bar here and type cmd and press enter after that you need to put the side by side so just you can get clarified and after that you need to press b.exe which stands for the removal the software after that press space type r.exe which stands for the rdr2 after that press space type clean clean.exe so what i have done b.exe space r.exe space clean.exe and then press enter and press enter yeah now you need to maybe enter 
maybe two to three times and what will happen it will clean the file and put a clean file on the same folder so how you can assure that you can select that right click go to properties and go to details and it will say now it's rdr2.exe and if you select the infected file again properties detail it will say trojan.exe this is the trojan file so what you need to do now first delete this trojan one then copy the clean file go back to the folder delete the infected ones which were already in the folder and paste the new clean files uh, and your file will be totally safe so in this method you can just keep the files and delete the trojan from it so yeah i hope uh, this will help you if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel uh, if you are facing any more further issue join discord and discuss with me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers